the next day it was so eerily silent when I walked out in the yard the next morning. There was nothing going on. And it was just, it left me feeling very empty. I've always been involved in my family farm, really. From a very young age, I was involved with helping feed calves, move cows around, all the general day-to-day -day bits in the dairy. When I was around 12, 13, I started milking and getting very heavily involved in the farm. And as I approached the ages of 16, 17, I got involved with the management side of it with my father. Things started to go wrong, really, on my farm when me and my dad were sharing the responsibilities of taking my mum up to see an auntie who'd sadly had a head injury. It basically meant that two people were running a farm but weren't necessarily communicating to each other or seeing each other. Me and Dad might not see each other and speak for two weeks. And with that increased pressure, it just something in the back of my mind made me think this isn't sustainable long term because things were going wrong and simple things might be overlooked that should maybe have been had a bit more concentration put to them. Um, yeah, sadly, eventually we fell far too behind with the way things were going and we made the decision to sell the cows before we lost too much else outside of the farm. The plans for the future had been removed because we made that decision quite so quickly and moved fast on it. At the time, I didn't have time to think and worry about what I was going to do in the future. I mean, I've been well trained in agriculture and dairy, so I, it, I just thought oh, it's fine, I'll go and work somewhere else and I'll get that same feeling. Did you? Did you get that same feeling? No. It quickly became apparent that working for someone else and working for your own farm is two very different things. It wasn't just milking cows I was missing, it was the family farm and actually working on the home farm. It plays on people's minds um, and sadly people can start going down a road of having mental issues without realising that it's okay to not feel okay. It, you know, if they're feeling sad for a few days they start to really beat themselves up and farmers are inherently quite tough and unfortunately mental health doesn't discriminate against if you're tough or not. Mental health is a very difficult subject for farmers to cover, really, because they have a lot riding on their businesses. Your family is tied into that farm so severely that if that business fails, there's a lot more to lose than just a bit of stock. You could essentially, some people have lost everything, sadly. Sharing my story with others made me feel not alone. It made me really rethink of why I'd been hiding in myself, why I'd been disappointed in myself for the loss of the cows. I think it's important to talk because it's the first initial step and for some people it's the only step they need to change their mindset utterly and completely. It doesn't matter if it's to a, a friend, a stranger, a sales rep, family member, It it's just an initial first step.